I spent tens of thousands of dollars building my own personal Bitcoin and crypto mining farm. It's my little mini data center out here on our actual farm. I wanna run through what I'm doing out here. Why did I do it? How do these buildings function? What are some of the things I would do differently? I just really wanna share it with you all because if you're thinking about doing anything like this, I could literally save you tens of thousands of dollars uh, or maybe you'll just find it interesting uh, and I'll lead with the simple fact of, well, why did you do this? Other than the fact it's challenging and fun as fuck. It's very profitable. I earn passive income. I earn money 24 seven. People talk about it, people dream about it, but I'm putting my boots out here on the ground and going after it, making it happen. And if it doesn't work out, well, fuck it. At least I tried. I'm Bosk, you're on the Bosk on YouTube channel, and we are at the Bosk Coin Mining Farm. My crown jewel, my pride and joy. Just kidding, that's tails. Have you ever seen my pup? So let's start with the first building. What is now the immersion mining shed, what was previously dubbed the mining shed 2.0. Many moons ago, I deployed a mining shed back in 2017. One of the coolest and craziest and most challenging pieces of the journey. Used that, electric company jacked my rate 40%, uh, then I moved and kind of got stuck in stasis for a few years. Frustrating, but it happens. Fast forward, I dropped this shed. Shipping containers were all basically price hiked at the time, uh, hard to find. So I pretty much just ordered a Amish shed in similar specs to a shipping container. And my goal was to have a hot side and a cold side. Just run air through it and make it an air-cooled mining shed. And I also planned to section off about a third of it to kind of have like a little field office, a repair center, a little bit of on-site storage. Uh, so it is oversized for my immediate goal of being a mining shed. True, but I, I understood that. As I walk around it, you're going to notice all these radiators. Those are immersion mining dry coolers. It's, it's super cool. I have all the major manufacturers. I have Bixbit, I have Fog Caching, and I have DCX deployed here. Any immersion mining equipment manufacturer worth having, I have and I've deployed. It's like my little just mining fantasy factory test bench playground and it's been so cool to document this journey and, and go through the DCX immersion install right and, and learning and that and kind of working through it and uh, it led to an incredible friendship with uh, Dennis and Colby at BMA I freaking love those guys uh, they've been just a lot of fun to do all this stuff with uh, and really an incredible asset for Voscoin as well and you know, then from there right we deployed fog hashing units I have Starlink as backup internet deployed on the shed. I ran uh, ethernet cable in a trench uh, to have hardwired internet out here. Uh, I also obviously have the electric panel, 400 amp service, single phase, 240 volt. Uh, and then uh, of course, you know, I worked through the Bixbit installs. The Bixbit immersion installs were very challenging for me, uh, but it, it's actually an incredibly well-performing system. It, and the miners stay very cool uh, given that deployment. Uh, so, you know, some of the things I would do differently, right, is I ran the wire around. I, I made a rookie mistake that I didn't even make on my first mining shed. I ran the wire too low. Uh, it really made uh, the air-cooled planning uh, difficult. Part of the reason I switched gears to doing immersion mining, right, and liquid cooling was because of that uh, actual cooling in there, right, intake vents, exhaust fans. Uh, I was a little slow to get to that. Did everything through the winter uh, and then summer hit and it was definitely behind the eight ball there uh, but it, it's been it's been a really good experience it's been really fun uh, and it's it's been very lucrative right I have uh, been able to deploy 31 miners in there that is also stealing basically 100 amps from the service on this green hard drive shed which I'll explain more here in a little bit uh, but yeah it's a huge chunk of my mining farm I have more miners mining and deployed in the gray immersion mining shed uh, than everywhere else on the farm. Uh, furthermore, I also uh, have my uh, test bench, repair bench, and a bunch of tools and everything out there. And uh, pretty much when I ever need something, 
that I don't have, I, I just, I buy it and I, I bring it out here, you know, from, I'm, and I'm thinking about tools and things like that. And then, yeah, some frustrating days, a lot of running back to the house, seeing if I had something that either is the right tool or would suffice. Uh, but then I got to the point where I have everything that I, I need out here. So it's truly been incredible and, and immersion mining has just been so fun. It's been such a fresh take. I've been mining for nearly a decade, uh, but I've only been immersion mining for about a year. Would I do it again? Hell yeah, I'd do it again. It's definitely more challenging having all these different systems, but I'm not just a miner. I absolutely am, of course, but I'm also a content creator, which provides a lot of unique opportunities for hardware acquisition and hardware testing and feedback. Uh, so yeah, this service is maxed out. It's, I've, I've gotten a better electricity rate on it now. Uh, I'm paying seven cents per kilowatt uh, hour down from 10 cents per kilowatt hour out here. Uh, my, my dream, my end game, right, is to fill this area and well beyond up with solar panels, but one step at a time. And if you're thinking about immersion mining, I got some links, uh, coupon codes down below. Ask me any questions you want. I'm very happy with it. It's unique. It is the perfect solution for some scenarios, but there are many caveats to it. So if you're thinking about getting into it, I would love if you went over to the Boss Coin Talk forum and laid out your plan and uh, shared what you're doing and uh why and uh just i'll check it other boss coiners community members will check it and just make sure that like say your system will fit your miner or maybe it doesn't some off chance it doesn't work in immersion fluid things like that uh so all in minus the mining equipment right from the shed to the wire like, like i've spent so much money on copper wire it's, it hurts and gravel to build all this like none of, none of this was here this is all grass farm field uh so I would essentially put the cost of my immersion mining shed at 20 grand. Uh, you could easily make something comparable for 10 grand. It would be a little smaller, but that would also be fine, especially if you focus on getting vertical. And that's even more possible if you use concrete, which although can have a higher cost. Either way, next I want to talk about what was a code name, a placeholder name that somehow kind of stuck between me and Alexa. Alexa's uh, my beautiful uh, wife to be, Miss Vosk. Uh, it's called the field building. It's technically Voscoin HQ. That, that's the name on paper. It was renamed to Voscoin HQ. But gosh dang it. We're always calling it the field building because that's what we always called it. Why'd you call it the field building? Because it's the building in the field. Anyway, so that was designed to be a warehouse, a studio, you know, possibly even like a guest suite eventually, uh, an RV garage, doubles as just simply a garage, storage for all kinds of things. A very multi purpose building right oh get on get an rv to travel across the country to make the coolest mining farm tours in history bam there's the garage for it oh you need to store the trailer uh because we try to grow voscoin and bitcoin by uh taking our bitcoin super to the track well here's a here's a spot to store it another 400 amp service attached to this so i steal a bunch of well, you know we call it free real estate here uh, when it's cold uh, or even moderate temperatures it's surprising you know how because it's on a huge concrete pad how good the temperature or temperatures are in this building all things considered because i mean it gets no shade zero after zero shade and uh it, it still does well no exhaust no airflow uh in this thing just no nothing and it, and it works out but we use this building heavily but it, it's really been underused to its potential I've needed to kind of sit down and focus and also find a budget uh, to take it to the next level, if you will, uh, because I spent a lot of money on electric wiring from materials to labor and lighting in there. And uh, I just haven't had the time, focus or budget uh, to do anything else with it, but I'm still in there all the time. It's excellent for storage. I use it to run several miners that I would not be able to run anywhere else currently otherwise and uh it's good it's absolutely like overbuilt for what i currently use it for but it's something that i hope to grow into uh and just use forever and it's it's a very i try to design in a very versatile fashion that uh, i could take it many other directions in the future if i wanted to do so I'm excited to talk about the pod, but let's talk about something that hasn't gone great. That's going to be the hard drive mining shed. That's pretty much an all-in 20 grand project. And uh, hard drive mining 
was very profitable it was looking pretty good it was pretty easy it was going pretty well but the way it goes very often shit coin mining it went to shit the main hard drive mineable coin these days chia has been doing abysmal their trash at marketing their community is not everyone there's some really cool people in the chia community but there's also a very vocal group of insufferable people and they're crybabies and they're annoying and it's just to be frank a buzzkill so yeah as it stands all right i'm, I'm mining with hard drives in there since she has gone down like over 50 percent when we built out the key piece i think it's down 75 percent from that key piece expansion uh yeah it, it, it's not worth it also running nodes and other things in there uh, it, it's one of those kind of underutilized spaces for me i just really haven't had the time and focus and projects that really brought out the best uh, with that but it's pretty cool it's insulated walls floor it's got hvac it's uh, got a winter rated unit so i can cool it through the winter and the unit won't freeze uh, which that was an interesting challenge and uh, that makes that building very versatile i do a lot of work out of there uh, because it's either warm in the winter because of the gear in there or it's cool in the summer because of the AC. And uh, that is that. That is a great reprieve. Uh, so I use it pretty much every time I come out here. It's especially useful and especially shines because I haven't done any sort of finish or HVAC work on uh, <coughs> Boss Queen HQ. But yeah, something that was really fun to make, had high hopes for, and to be frank, uh, it's been my worst investment on the mining farm and has not panned out to date but i utilize it in a lot of ways that are kind of like creature comfort uh, and not something that directly translates to monetary generation let's talk about something that does the digital shovel mini pod m300 if you were subscribed to the channel you could have got one for about twenty thousand dollars or less at some points uh, many other times around like 25 grand this is pretty cool for that price point it is commanding a premium since then and we had the really cool opportunity uh, to review this and this is a unique single phase rated version uh, technically it's 208 voltage so we use one leg of it if you're familiar with that 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 level of electricity uh, but the bottom line is we could deploy 88 miners in here if we had the correct electric service or a different electric service a superior electric service uh, but on a 400 amp single phase service which there is another one attached to this i can deploy 400 amps of miners which with the miners i have in there is about 30 miners this thing's been fantastic uh, the filter system is good it the exhaust fans have been problematic but we have received good support from digital shovel on that front and we've just been upgraded to their new direct drive exhaust fans that are supposed to be more powerful be bulletproof compared to these belt driven ones and i think they use less electricity or it's the same so if it's more powerful with the same electricity it's a big win and uh according to scott the creator of the digital shovel uh, and really like the, the owner and engineer to all of this uh he thinks that i could run half the fans and have more than exhaust if not maybe even one fan will be sufficient for how many miners i have to put in here so i'm pretty eager uh to check that out we actually already received our shipment for two of them and our other two direct drive fans are in transit with something like that i want to deploy them all at once uh, so i'm just happily waiting and, and those those fans are working good enough right now and uh, we're going into the colder time of the year so uh, that works for me uh, the design on this is really cool they do a bunch of stuff in-house like they roll their sh their shelves in-house with their machine it runs as, as the, the cool way to say is lights out right so it makes it overnight um, you know, like the automation of manufacturing like that, I, I think is absolutely fascinating and makes a lot of sense. That could be a pun. You see what I'm doing there? Uh, but yeah, it's good. It's good. Miners get a little dirty, but I could probably change the filters more often. And honestly, every, every miner gets dirty and air cooled. So I'm not trying to ding them for that. And to be honest, I don't care. They never get so dirty that I feel like I ever need to clean them. They never get so dirty, uh, that I feel like it's not a good, uh, a good uh, design a good system and to be frank these asic miner manufacturers which that's most of the machines we've got deployed out here right these application specific integrated circuits right and those are asic chips inside of these little custom computer silver boxes normally by the time that they're so nasty that you don't even want to touch them they're probably not even turning to profit anymore and just old tech outdated so still i've got solar power or something and i've got way more longevity for equipment 
a, you know, a way longer runway because I'd be, you know, making my own power. It, it more than works for me. I really like the footprint on it. It's, it, it's very small, especially for the minor density. The bus bar is a good design. Some people actually order the bus bar and that's like the only thing they order from them because they're building out inside warehouses or whatever else. And, it, and because of their manufacturing on this, it can literally be cheaper to just run a bunch of their bus bars uh, you know, in, a, in a tandem as opposed to paying for more and more and more wire. Copper wire and even aluminum wire are grossly expensive these days and there's just no reprieve on that front that's a current you know status or a snapshot of the Voscoin mining farm and the breakdown of the different buildings and what i do um, i have trenched ethernet to all of these so all of these locations have hardwired internet they all have network switches all of them have a, more or less uh hvac at least that they need it or should have it even Voscoin hq has a very small hvac system but it, it's really only supposed to be for the upstairs and that's supposed to be sealed off and that's just a very partially complete uh, plan out there. Uh, so, you know, this, is take, this has been years of work. We try to do everything we can ourselves. We work with some friends on some projects and we are bringing in contractors on some other projects uh, there as well. The next piece of expansion is uh, basically supposed to be kind of like a mini version of the mini pod, which is kind of funny to say, the, a mini mini, a nano. It's like a jumbo shrimp and uh we're gonna just plop that right here i really wanted it over there by the shovel but i'm running it from this electric panel which is the only place i still have any sort of uh i just have a, a large amount of uh, electric still left uh so that's running here in that conduit and i'll drop the building right here and i'm i'm just gonna sit it right here on the edge of the gravel pad we recently reworked our rock out here uh which was overdue attack the weeds they're starting to make a comeback though, so I need to jump on that before it gets too crazy again. And uh, yeah, just always something to do. That's something I've tried to be really cautious of moving forward is not always opening another project, another project, another project. Just because before you know it, you're completely overburdened. It goes from doing some really cool, crazy shit that I'll like look back on and smile one day, hopefully, to just being stressed out, pissed off, overworked, overburdened burnt out uh, so you know crypto in general is difficult to be in because you know prices are up and down and sideways and uh, the bear market's been long it's 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 been a long bear market it's technically the longest bear market in uh crypto history so yeah putting it into perspective it's a uh, big pain big pain so hey i'm boss here on the boss one youtube channel that's all i've got today hope you like the content and let's close it out with 10 seconds of tales our cmr chief mining officer baby i need to go see that cutie pup i miss her uh so i hope you're having a good day remember a lot of things are about perspective so appreciate what you got don't be all worked up on the things you don't have you'll get them one day you won't it'll probably be just fine later hey you want to buy a mining rig do you want a pretty good price on it and pretty fast shipping? Then you may be looking for ASIC Marketplace. Click our link in the video description below to not only support our channel, but support yourself with the coupon code we've got right next to it.